Welcome to The Agenda with Ari, where bold conversations and real solutions meet. Join Ari Childry as she dives into the issues that matter most. Ready to break barriers and build bridges? Let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Ari on here. Today we're breaking down tariffs, what they are, who actually pays for them, and why they can be terrible for American consumers like you and me. Plus, we'll touch on how Trump's proposed new tariffs essentially act as a national sales tax and the devastating impact his previous tariffs had on American farmers. So starting off, let's answer the question of what are tariffs? Simply put, tariffs are taxes that are imposed by the government on imported goods. When a product comes into the U.S. from another country, a tariff increases the cost of that good. The idea is to make foreign goods more expensive and encourage Americans to buy domestically made products. But here's the kicker. Who actually pays these tariffs? Well, spoiler alert, it's not the foreign countries. It's you. American importers pay the tariffs and that cost often gets passed on to us as consumers in the form of higher prices. So next time you see a tariff in action, think of it as a hidden tax on your everyday purchases. And speaking of hidden taxes, Trump's proposed tariffs are a perfect example of this burden. He wants a universal tariff on all imports. Economists say this would act like a national sales tax, raising prices on thousands of everyday items. Your clothing, electronics, groceries, we'd all end up paying more, no matter our income. Let's not forget what happened with Trump's earlier tariffs on Chinese goods. They were supposed to protect American industries, but who suffered? American farmers were hit hard. It doesn't look like a battleground, just a harvested wheat field waiting for its next crop. But this really is ground zero in the nation's trade fight against China. Peas, lentils, and other pulse crops, they're all seeing a 25% tariff slapped on them, and farmers aren't seeing any relief. I'm feeling the pain, and it, it's, uh, it's really significant. It's one thing to read the headlines, it's another to live them. China's our second largest market. And as soon as those tariffs went into place, uh, basically the bottom just dropped out. We went from 9% market share down to 0.6% market share. That's a $50 million hit, he says, and Washington accounts for a quarter of the exports. So switch markets, you might say. Not so easy. The other big ones haven't been immune from politics either. Mexico is buying 40% less as a NAFTA replacement is hammered out. In India, tariffs drop trade down a whopping 92%. The EU, though tariff-free right now, presenting challenges as well. Whenever you have uncertainty like this, people are gonna hedge their bets, they're gonna look at your competitors, Where's that leave our farmers? Our job is to feed the world. And right now we're having a trouble doing that. And if things carry on, feeding themselves. But we need to have the trade disputes resolved, period. China retaliated, reducing the demand for U.S. agricultural exports on things like soybeans, pork, and more. Farmers lost those crucial markets, and some even faced financial ruin. Now, there were some financial aid packages from the government, but those acted as basically taxpayer-funded band-aids that didn't make up for the lasting damage that had been caused for these farmers and their industry. So why are tariffs bad for American consumers? Simply put, because we end up paying the price through higher costs and lost opportunities. And while protectionist policies might sound like they're keeping jobs here, the reality is far more complex and painful. So tariffs might seem like political chess pieces, but for millions of Americans, they represent higher cost, economic pain, and broken promises. Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out my Substack for more. I post pretty regularly, and I hope you'll join me there, as well as here on whatever platform you're watching this. Again, thank you for joining me on the agenda, and I hope to see you again really soon. President Trump's international trade dispute appears to be moving closer to a full-fledged trade war. 
and that's causing a lot of concern here in Wisconsin. On Friday, Trump slapped tariffs on $34 billion worth of Chinese imports. China promised a quick retaliatory strike on an equal amount of U.S. goods. Mexico also increased its tariffs on almost $3 billion worth of U.S. products. Mexico is retaliating for Trump's tariffs on steel and aluminum. You're going to see a lot of farmers have to sell out and get out of farming.